Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. Today I'm going to be planting out my climbing French beans. I've constructed this framework for the beans to climb up. I've done it the same way for a number of years. Basically you get two canes cross them over in a V shape and then run a cane along the centre. I tie them in with cable ties because I tend to find that they make the framework pretty sturdy as opposed to twine. I also run a diagonal cane up, cross, and that again adds to stability to the framework. It's pretty sturdy and holds the beans very well. I have been given some runner bean plants, which I planted a week or so ago. They've not done too bad, they have been attacked by slugs a little bit, which I always get that problem, particularly when we've had rain like we have done over the last few days but the plants look okay so I think they'll grow away up these canes all right so the remainder of the canes now I'm going to plant my climbing French bean plants which I've been growing on in the greenhouse so here is the tray of climbing French beans I've got two varieties Cobra and Blue Lake. I've grown both these two varieties before and I found them to be pretty reliable. So what I'll do is I'll plant Cobra along this side and Blue Lake along the back. With beans they do like the soil beneath them to be nice and moist around the roots so what I've done is I've dug a trench along here and what I did was I put some compost along that trench and then I covered it back over so beneath each of these canes there should be some nice compost for the beans to root into firstly I'm going to dig a hole on the inside of the canes that just helps because plant's going to go straight up and then it'll easily attach onto the cane. If you plant them on the outside of the cane they're going to go all over the place to try and find the cane so it's best if you can to just try and put them on the inside. So here's the first plant. As you can see it's pretty well developed. Nice root system. I'm going to plant that just below the surface where the soil was. And they'll twine their way round the cane. Like that. And what I'll do is once I put all the plants in, I'll tie them with a little bit of twine to the cane just to make sure that they stay attached in case it gets windy. Another hole. Another nice plant and your roots. I have this wool based twine which is basically a stronger version of twine it's got some wool fibre in it which makes it nice and strong I 
what I'm going to do now is just tie the beam to the cane to get it started off. Now, climbing French beans twine round the cane anti-clockwise as opposed to runner beans which tend to go clockwise round the cane. Not sure why that is. What I'm going to do is just loosely tie this to the cane and then the plant should do it its own thing and climb up. I'll do that with each of the beans. There we go. Five plants of cobra beans along this side of the frame and I will now repeat what I've done on the other side with the blue lake. Planted Blue Lake beans now on this side so the frame is now complete. Tied these ones in too. Some of these plants are a little bit smaller than the cobra beans. And hopefully they don't get attacked too much by slugs and snails. I do have a few reserve plants in case of casualties. Hopefully I won't need those. One of the other things I'd like to do today is to plant sweet corn. I've grown these on at home and the plants are now at a decent size and there's no risk of frost so it's time to get these planted. I'm going to plant them in the central bed, the one that's got my onions in, it's the no dig bed. I have got a row of carrots finally coming through, a row of parsnips. Can't see any parsnips coming through as yet, but there are a lot of weed seedlings, so it's difficult to tell if they've started to germinate. But they do take a little bit longer than carrots. I've got half this bed to dedicate now to my sweet corn. This is a variety called Extra Early Sweet Corn. I'm going to plant the plants in three separate rows and that will form a block. Now sweet corn is wind pollinated so you shouldn't just plant a single row otherwise the wind could blow the pollen in the wrong direction you end up with no sweet corn. So you're best to plant them in a grid tight pattern in a rectangle and then you've got a better chance of getting some decent pollination and therefore some nice cobs of corn. So I've laid a string line along here. Just take one of the plants out. There's two plants in each module, you can separate them quite easily decent root system, just tease them apart. And plant them, I would say about, and plant them about 30 centimetres to 45 centimetres a foot to a foot and a half apart. They do become quite big plants, so it's best to space them as well as, well as you can.
I'll carry on now planting the rest of this sweet corn and I'll let you see when I've finished. There we go. Three rows of sweet corn. Planted in a block. 18 plants in there. A little problem in the greenhouse. The cucumber that I had growing in this halo has keeled over and died. I think it may be a result of overwatering. I haven't been watering into the centre of the halo, I have been watering into here, but I have been watering at the same time as I have been doing the tomatoes. I don't think it needed as much water it was given, so I guess that's caused it to rot off at the stem. I do have some other cucumber plants, so I will clean out that compost in the centre of the halo and try another one and try watering it a lot less. Thanks very much for joining me at Nick's Allotments. I'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.